Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys. This time, I actually did a video previously talking about these, but it was just an image of the heads. So now we got full shots of the robot mode, so I might unlist that video and then just upload this. But anyways, we're going to talk about these newly revealed Star Seeker figures for Legacy United. This is going to be the next Walmart exclusive. So originally we had the Velocitron line, then we had the G2 Universe or Toxitron collection, and now it's going to be Star Seekers. And that actually ties into Tidal Wave because Thundertron was captain of the Tidal Wave. That was their ship and the Star Seekers would sail off with that. So it makes a lot of sense there. Anyways, the first figure we got is Lockdown, which is going to be a repaint of the Axle Grease and probably has the least amount of remolding work, which is kind of surprising considering one of these figures is Ferric. But anyways, yes, Lockdown. Some people are disappointed that it's not a rework of Chase because the way the legs transform on that figure is similar to one of the previous Lockdowns, but I don't know why anyone would be surprised it's not Axle Grease. First of all, all the weapons and accessories are pretty much what Lockdown needs. It has a cover for the arm, it has a hook, and then it's got the engine parts to make that EMP blaster. So, not sure why anyone would be surprised. But not only that, it's got a bunch of spikes, much like Lockdown. Another cool thing about this, being a remold of a Junkion, is the fact that you could pop off the limbs. And the original Lockdown for Transformers Animated, he would take limbs and weapons and whatnot and use them as trophies or even use them on himself. So the idea of that you can swap the limbs with this guy actually kind of works. So I love the black. I love this light green color scheme that you can see in the thighs and of course the chest. And I like the head design. I know some people would have preferred something that looks more like the anime look. But the head's actually designed after the Revenge of the Fallen toy. That was much before the Age of Extinction toy line brought Lockdown into the big screen. This was a toy that they just decided to make for Lockdown a long time ago. And uh, so I guess they're referencing that, especially with the spikes you can see on the chin. And you could also see that the blasters, when you attach them to the hook, they've got the yellow. So yes, that is the intended purpose of those blasters is to plug over the hand. So yeah, also he's got the engine held in his hand. I'm just going to plug that onto the side, probably on the other arm. I know it should be on the same arm, but considering that it's already going to be pretty clunky, it'd probably be better if it was on the other one. Anyway, so let's go ahead and move on to Flitch. Now, this is a character that some people don't seem to know about, and that's probably because in the show that she appeared, she didn't really appear much in robot form. It was mostly the bird, and it was just for a one-off episode. So, yeah, this character, we saw a silhouette, we saw artwork of the robot mode, but not really much has been shown. So it's kind of weird that they decide to do Flitch. She is a character that appeared in the Robots in Disguise 2015 show. She was someone that loved shiny things, and she brought them up to her nest, and that was basically the main thing. But, uh, yeah, they're finally doing a toy of that character, which is really obscure, but I'm totally fine with that. I love the purple and this kind of faded, almost aqua dark blue. And I like the remolding work, so this is going to be a remold of the Kingdom Air Razor. But she's got a new head sculpt that's very similar to her design in the show. She's got a new robot head as well. It's very similar to Air Razor, but it doesn't have that forehead thing and it's more swooped back. Uh, and then she's also got new wing attachments that plug onto her arms and it seems like they'll plug onto her wings themselves. And then not only that, the way the wings transform it looks like there's some different parts with that and the shoulders are different too they're more rounded off and i also noticed that the thighs seem to be different as well but uh yeah if you like air razor and you want to see it in purple and blue there you go there's a purple and blue air razor anyways moving on we have cannonball and i can just say i am really hoping they do a red alert i think it'd be very disappointing if they didn't do a red alert so to those who are confused, Cannonball, the first figure, <clears throat> ah, sorry, the first figure to come out for Cannonball was a repaint of the Cybertron Red Alert. So they decided to reference that with the head sculpt. It's very much like the Cybertron design. I love the visor. I like the black on the side there. The chest is a little big, boxy, and square for the design. I'm not sure if it really fits, but yeah, I could definitely see that crankcase influence. You could also see that the shoulders have changed, and it seems like there's a weapon attached to the butt. 
And that is because you can see that his hand is replaced by a claw weapon. And I imagine you could swap that out. You can see the peg, so you can pop that off and just have the laser hand. That is something that references the original Red Alert toy. So it's good to see that you do have the... Uh, it's good to see that you do have the options. I am so sorry for messing up on my words today. Uh, but I do like the gold, the black, the yellow headlights. You know, everything looks pretty good. And... Again, I'm hoping to see a Red Alert. It's funny how Crankcase, Red Alert, and Cannonball has shared a mold before. Anyways, moving right along, we also have the Voyager Class Ferrex. Now, so far, this seems to be the only Voyager Class figure, so it's going to replace the, I think it's Cloud Cover figure. And initially, it should just be a white and red version of the Cyclonus. And that's what it's a remold of. So, uh, of course, it's going to have the same engineering. I'm, I'm sorry, this one has deeply yellowed. I don't know what happened to it. But uh, what's different about this is the white on the chest should be different. It should have more red up here, but it's in the stomach. And not only that, they remolded a ton with this toy. And some of it doesn't really make sense. Like, it's got blasters on the wings, which is fine. It's got a new head sculpt, which uh, is the same helmet, but uh, the face is, is very different. It's, it's definitely more detailed and kind of scary looking. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the rest of the toy just seems mostly just a, a white and red and gray version of Cyclonus. Uh, I do believe that the chest is also different. I can't get a good look, but the original chest on Cyclonus is much more clean compared to this. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what the alt modes are going to look like, especially on Cannibal, considering the remold and work to that, as well as Fletch. And uh, I do apologize, I keep messing up. I don't know what's going on with me, but uh, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.